It's like, oh, that's that's very weird. That's a spit. That's suspicious. That's weird. What is that all about? You know. What up, Goat World? It's me, your boy JDZ, and I'm back with another Goat Format video. As always, I gotta start. I gotta give my special shout outs. What is understood doesn't need to be explained most times, but uh, I definitely have to give a shout out to the Goat Format staff, specifically to Scully, uh, MFF, uh, Masochist, uh, T T33 Ling, um, all those, all those, all those guys. Uh, they work tireless hours, hours and hours, putting these tournaments together, putting the website together. Uh, also, Spooky, Spooky as well. Um, a lot of information is gathered, and, and, and just the organization piece of it, uh, putting this GOAT format revival thing together, which is a game that I love, and I know a lot of people love it as well. Um, I'm not saying that they are the the art they created, you know, the game or whatever, the architects, whatever. But I know they do a huge amount for the community, and everyone, uh, everyone really appreciates that and uh, I just want to give them their flowers while, while I still can. It's it's, it's a lot. I, I, I can only imagine, you know, it's a lot that goes on behind the scenes putting this stuff together um, and it's just it's just out of out of the love for the game and the passion for the community to do that. So huge shout out to those guys. Um, I can't I can't thank you enough. Hey, I also have to give a huge shout out to T1 Glistener Elf. I'm, I'm a real I'm a real YouTuber guy now. I did my first ever uh, collaboration with someone else. Uh, T1 Glistener Elf, he's huge in the Magic the Gathering community. He's trying to jump into the GOAT format realm. So we got together, we did a quick little uh, video. I'm kind of teaching him how to play. Go over to his channel, check that out. It's really fun. I had a blast. We got to do it again sometime. So uh, shout out to you T1 Glistener Elf. It was a really fun time making that video. Definitely got to do it again. So quick recap, the night goes on. Uh, your boy JDZ go ahead and gets a gets the dub on awesome days and just after after releasing that video and and talking to other people who watched the video and just looking at that replay again awesome days definitely should have put your boy out the tournament right there there was a lot of uh there was a lot of less optimal you know lines that they took in that game and I think if they just played it slightly different they still could have got the dub I'm talking like it's I, I got I got a few messages from people who said hey man if you did this it's over for you and there's really nothing you can do about it. There's a couple of things. So if you go back and watch that tape, you'll see. And that just goes to show, like, hey, sometimes, you know, sometimes you're good. Sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes your opponent may misplay. And that's just a part of the game. You know, it can go either way. Um, but I, t I take it for what it is. I got the dub, and, I and I'm moving on. So as I mentioned in my last video as well, uh, my next opponent is a player uh, in the in Discord. Their name is Wing Zero. But uh, X23S is their name on Dueling Book. Uh, Wing Zero is a world's qualified uh, player. Um, I'm not exactly sure how they got their invite. I can look it up real quick, and I'll just I'll throw that on there how they, how they got it. But I know that I, I know that information about them. And also, again, in the last video as well, you could see X, X23 has watched that entire match, so they know exactly what my tendencies are. They know exactly what my deck list is side deck things that I do they know what I got going on it's 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 a no it's a no brainer um, so again I'm going to be at a significant disadvantage uh, the only thing I know about x23s is that they are uh, maybe a chaos turbo player maybe chaos control um, so I'm, I'm anticipating that they're on a chaos turbo uh, situation as well so I feel as if you know at this at this moment at this current juncture where we are in the tournament I've made it way past my expectations. This is the very first tournament that I've ever uh, seriously entered, and I'm 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 like, hey, I learned a lot. I'm feeling great. If I go down here, and I'm, you don't want to, <clears throat> you don't want. It's it's very it's very difficult for me. It's something I need to work on. You don't want to get like a defeatist mentality. You don't want to be like a weak mindset. Like, oh, I'm just gonna go in here and just lose because this guy's better than me. I'm uh, whatever, whatever. You don't want you don't want to think like that. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna go down. This is probably where it's going to happen right here because I'm outclassed. He's got a huge advantage over me, and I'm just being I'm being a realist without being a little wimp, you know. Um, I, I don't want to say, hey, I'll, you know, because I'm I'm definitely not scared. That's a stupid. Scared is a it's it's that's a strong emotion to be scared. I'm not in fear, but I'm like, hey, you know what? It is what it is, and it's it's it's. If I'm a betting man, I'm thinking that this is going to be the one that that puts your boy out of here. But again. You got no choice. You gotta, you gotta absolutely thug it out, you know. 
no matter what. So whoever, even if you sit down and you're playing against the number one ranked person, you're playing against the the best fucking. You, you, you sit you sit down against Seto Kaiba himself. You sit down against Yugi Moto himself, dude. You better be ready to flip, flip some cards. I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna fold to nobody. I'm gonna get out here and do what I gotta do, and hopefully it works out for me. But that's how it is. All right. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and jump right on into this replay. But first, I've been playing a lot of Mortal Kombat lately. Who's your favorite character? Oh, Liu Kang? Well, guess what? Mine is Sub-Zero. You're trash, bro. So, bro, you're trash. Feel me? So, hey, you know what? Go ahead. Go ahead and, and just do it, man. Go ahead and go ahead and hit the hit the subscribe button. No big deal. Hit the like button. No big deal. Just become an OG. Real ones. You know, go ahead and follow the, follow the journey, man. I really appreciate it. It's going up. I think we're sitting at 50 right now. 50 subscribers. That's nuts. You know what I'm saying? This is just, it's just me, your boy, JD, Z in here and uh seeing that we got 50 people in there i really i really digging the vibes man so it, it means a lot and it goes a long way so if you want to continue to follow this journey all you got to do is just one light one dark just smash that subscribe button double tap hit the like button what are we going to do i'm cutting that out that's not going in but yeah just hit the hit the it, it goes it goes a long way because it lets people know like hey your boy's in town you know and also tell your friends you know let somebody know it is what it is but we're going to jump right onto this replay Replay X23S and JDZ. All right, we're in there. So again, won't hurt nobody. Just go ahead and scroll over. It's sitting at a good 650, you know, 2,174 experience. You know, he's, he knows the vibes, dude. Someone's got two racks. You know, I'm at a, I'm at a thousand. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little higher now, but you know, they're, they're gonna know what's going on. So and he's got me, he's got me in, in ladder points and experience at this point. So you know. I already know it's gonna be a long day for you, boy. I'm not too worried about it. So I go ahead and go. I'm gonna throw rock this time, cause he threw rock, and I knew he's no, he knows I'm a scissors guy, so he's gonna. He watched the whole thing, so he knows the vibes, dude. I go ahead, and paper, beat rock. Round one, fight. And I'm digging. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm politicking over in the comments to see it. I'm like, man, I'm trying to see. Maybe he'll be like, oh yeah, I'm on turbo, so you're screwed or something. So I at least know like what I'm up, like have an idea of what of what they're doing. It's something, something I try, you know, it never works, but I gotta keep trying. So I open, I get Escape Ghost Breaker, Thunder Dragon, Royal Decree, Sinister Serpent. Uh, opponent gets Sinister Serpent, Axe of Despair, Mystic Tomato, Magician of Faith, Thunder Dragon. So I go into it and I'm like, he's definitely playing Chaos Turbo. That's the best deck, Chaos Turbo best deck. He's playing Chaos Turbo. He's a good player. I'm gotta, I gotta beat it. So I go ahead and draw. I get the Book of Moon again. Okay, cool. So I go ahead again, another breaker in the opening hand. Breaker is just coming to me today. I don't know what's going on. The algorithms, the shuffling machine. I'm getting breaker in like every single first hand today and a book of moon too. Go figure. Anyway, so Thunder Dragon, get another one. Double Thunder Dragon, no big deal. And I go ahead and set down the scapegoats this time because I'm like, okay, last time it backfired with Young Sexy with the Spear Reaper situation. So this time I don't want to put this down and get it knocked. I don't want to put breaker out there and get him killed. Book of Raw Chicken, Book of Moon didn't do it this time. I'm glad. And uh, you know, Road Decree, I just kept it in my hand. So I got the I got the uh I got the skate goes down. Hopefully they can hold it down for your boy for a little while longer. My opponent gets the Graceful Charity. Which is when you get Thunder Dragon and Graceful Charity together, this it's a mess. It's a mess. Go ahead and play as the Thunder Dragon. Adds two. Sick. Tony rips the Graceful Charity, so I'm like, okay. That at this point I'm like, oh man, come on, just give, oh dude, I'm I when it, when this happened, again he's got me in experience, he's got me in skill. When he went Thunder Dragon, Graceful Charity, I immediately like, okay, I'm side decking already, I'm already defeated, just mentally weak, got to work on it. But you hate to see it because he's just getting three three fresh cards right off the rip. So that's cool. I let it ride. He goes, and he gets the Pot of Greed. Okay. This is getting this is getting out of hand quick, and uh, throws out the Sinister Serpent, throws out one of the Thunder Dragons, which is not bad. A lot of people do that. I would do that too. Just keep your keep your Thunder Dragon. Uh, he's not giving up too much information. Just that he opened really good, and that he got a Sinister Serpent along with it. Then he slapped down the Pot of Greed too. So I'm like, okay, I'm about to get blown out of this game. This is not looking good. Game one is not going well so far. Um, gets the Mystic Tomato and Mataza the Zapper. So just based on what he has here, it looks like he's on, uh, clearly he's gonna be on some type of uh, uh, double tap, Mataza, Warrior, Bing, Binkai situation. Um, 
very very good deck i never i never saw it coming you know so it's it is what it is you gotta in, the, in these games especially um when when your opponent opens super strong like that and it gets really good cards like that my goal at least what i'm trying to do maybe i'm right maybe i'm wrong i'm trying to go ahead and extend this thing as much as i can slow it down maybe i can get some advantage back and then i can at least gain information on what they have like get get more what what try to figure out as much about their deck as they can so when we go into the side decking time i can have a better chance for the next game uh, because usually if someone is a really good player and they just go up on advantage on you really early like that and they got all these power cards they can just hit the gas pedal and just blow you right on out of there so you want to slow it down get as much info as you can and try to try to get to game two with with the with the max idea but so right now i only only cards i've seen so far is just the cards that everyone plays basically and i've seen his mrs tomato so now i know he's on some maybe some type of recruiter chaos situation not sure still could be turbo still could be control i'm not sure um But then if you read over here, so he's like kill none in the in the goats, because obviously if you didn't know when you attack and the amount of monsters on your side of the field changes, which they did when I played these scapegoats, the illegal targets change, it, it triggers a replay. So he does not have to attack anymore. He can re withdraw that attack if you didn't know. Again, go to the website, read the rules. That's something that you can do in goat format for sure. Uh, so he, re he redeclares the attack and he decides not to attack at all and kill none. So at that moment, I'm just like, oh, that's. That's very weird. That's suspicious. That's suspicious. That's weird. That's suspicious. That's weird. What is that all about? You know, uh, I want you to kill my goats. Like, what is, what is going on? Is he playing burn? Is he playing some type of, you know, usually if somebody plays goats, you kill a goat. So obviously something, something strange is happening and the wheels are starting to turn. And I'm like, okay, that's a very, that's a very weird, uh, very weird situation that just went down. So I need to, uh, to, to do something because I feel I feel danger dangerous you know the hairs on my back starting to go up a little bit okay I mean I'm feeling I'm feeling something bad is uh it's nearing opponent draws to the sangan switch to defense and just sets the magician of faith and is just like okay now I'm like okay what what is truly going on like I gotta get these goats off the field maybe he's doing some kind of I'm thinking burn I'm thinking you know I, I don't know so, because again, he's doing a very good job of, I mean, obviously he's just playing it, playing it the way it happened, but he's not uh, giving me any information about what he's trying to do until, you know, he absolutely has to. So I draw and I said, I, I know I'm in danger. I feel like I'm feeling very vulnerable because I don't really have a lot of protection going on. I got this, I got this book of moon, but I got these goats out. And if he just starts bringing down, you know. G Gakugiri Panda, maybe he's waiting on that and he can just blast me. I'm not sure. So I gotta I gotta figure out a way to get these goats out of here. I uh, guess back to the serpent. Flips the magician of faith. Gets back the graceful, which is absolutely correct, because you got that center serpent getting the cards out of your deck. Graceful again. Okay, gets the scapegoats, the big bang shot, or big bang shot, and acts of despair. Discards the Sinister Serpent and the other, um, other Thunder Dragon. So I'm like, okay, what is going on? Like, what is happening? Why is he not killing me? He's not doing anything. He's not, it's not happening. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned at this point. Cause I'm like, man, I should be, I'm not, I'm not dead yet. I'm still, I'm still going. So I'm like, okay, just in case it's burn, I flip over this world decree. But honestly, I can tell that my opponent was digging for a uh, giant grenade or heavy storm or some type of thing to interact with my set cards here and then just blow me out. Cause this, this plus this is literally game right now. Um, have they, if they can just heavy me or giant grenade, this plus this and it's over. So that's, that's what they're waiting on. I, I didn't know that. I thought they were still on just regular, regular chaos stuff, but they're on some kind of blow you away equip card situation yeah so i got the he knows this he saw this he's he's he's, he's playing i know he know that i had that decree in there he's seen it um so i throw down the breaker and i'm like okay maybe i can just i have no clue what what's going on here so i break the scapegoats i hit the magician faith hopefully it's not a book of moon there and did a little bit of damage and i'm like okay We'll see. We'll see what happens. 
So finally, opponent was like, okay, enough's enough. Let me go and go. Summon's good. Throws down the Big Bang Shot. And for those who don't know, Big Bang Shot says uh, equipped, gain 400 attack, and it gives you piercing. So short priest can attack everybody. All my goats with piercing. So that's what he was waiting on. The cat's out of the bag. And I'm like, oh, man, you know, no bueno. So I, I get I get the vibes now. Fortunately, fortunately for me, my raw chicken Book of Moon finally comes through. I've been playing Book of Moon all day, and that's the first time it actually did something good for me. Shout out to Book of Moon, man. I was about to cut it, keeping the Book of Moon. Worked out. So I set the Assure Priest to save my life. Still got these goats up there. So now I'm thinking, now my board is completely locked out. Um, and these goats are absolutely a liability. And maybe they got Big Bang Shot at three. Um... So I got I got to get these goats out of here. I don't know how. Uh, he's got all his stuff in defense, which is smart. So I can't I can't ram and crash. I can't do anything. I got this tribe. I can get it down and do some work with that. But I'm I'm not in a good spot. I'm not in a good spot. I'm I'm like okay. He knows that. That's why he didn't kill the goats. He's very smart. Um, so I go ahead and hit into the Assure Priest, and I have to discard for hand size because. I can't, I, I don't want to just set anything. Um, I can't put any monsters out. I got a lot of orange going on here as well. So it's just, it's just a bad, I'm, I'm in a bad spot. Opponent drops word decree of their own. Gets back the Sinister Serpent. Uh, throws down another Mystic Tomato. With the correct artwork. I got, shout out to Wing Zero. A lot of people play that other D-Gen Mystic Tomato. Don't want to see it. Hate to see it. Get if you're playing Mr. Tomato, this is the artwork you got to be using. This is the this is the one. OG Mr. Tomato. The other one, I don't, I don't like the I don't like the sleek the sleek modern updated Mr. Tomato. Get him out of here. Get give me this guy. Anyway, shout out to X twenty three S Wing Zero. He's a real one. He knows the vibes. Anyway, so I get back the uh, I get back the Sinister Serpent. Breaker go ahead hits into the Mr. Tomato, which probably was a huge mistake. I mean, all, but honestly, I got to attack somebody, and literally any card I attack, this situation happens. You know, so it's just he's, it's it's all set up to get um, to get this guy, and everybody knows the vibes. You know what time it is. When I see this dude, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's over for me. It's not good. It's bad. It's a bad spot. So and he's got all these cards, and I'm you see the card. So I'm, I'm 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 pretty sad about it. I've discarded Sin Serpent again. I gotta set the heavy just so I don't have to discard anymore. And I'm like, okay, I'm just I'm literally thinking about what my side deck is gonna be going into. I'm thinking about game two. All right, so they go heavy. Uh, I'm in danger, dude. And when they start, he pauses a little bit just to do some mathematics. When your opponent starts doing doing arithmetic, dude, just 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 wrap it up, dude, because. When they're playing these kind of decks, and they start. And they got a calc, dude. And they got to do a. They start. They bust out the. They bust out the advocate, dude, and start moving, moving little little ticks around. Just, just, just wrap it up, bro. You're done. All right. So yeah, it's, it's united we stand. Um, I know the vibes. So they kill all, all the goats with all the little guys, and then he just proceeds to just one, two, three. My life points, dude. One, two, three! Ah, ah, ah! Dude, and my dumbass, I'm over here, I'm over here counting. It's like so late, I'm trying to count. I'm like, oh, is that, bro, you're dead, bro. Just go ahead and admit defeat and move on. So I'm dead, and I'm like, man, that was unexpected, you know? But um, going, into, going into game two, I, I'm surprised. I'm kind of I'm kind of rattled, but at the same time, I'm, you know, you kind of get punched. You just gotta slow it down. You know, let get get your balance, get in your corner, drink some water, you know, and, and just get get back in there. But now I know the cat's out of the bag. I know what they're trying to do. So now I can play a little bit differently based on that. So we get the side deck. Um, I think I might take some of the scapegoats out because I just really backfired on your boy last time. I'm probably taking the Royal Decrees out, bringing in all the other traps that I have, as many traps as possible. Um, probably bringing in the... Uh, I'm probably bringing in some share to pains as well, just in case I do need to get something off the field. I can I can use those. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going. But yeah, it was a it was a lot of a lot of damage to kind of get my points Fight. in that game. That's cool. All right, so I get to go first. 
I open, uh, I get the Thunder Dragon, uh, Spirit Reaper, Magician of Faith. I have one of those Shared of Pains, Sand Gan, and Chaos Sorcerer. Not a bad hand. I can roll with this. Opponent gets the Morphing Jar, Royal Decree, Thunder Dragon, Premature Burial, Axe of Despair. So let's see what happens. So I go ahead and Thunder Dragon up again. Get two more. Love to see it. As long as they're not coming in twos, I'm with it. Um, oh, read really comment. It said, if thinking about taking this to Worlds, you know, that would have been so lit. I would love, I, would, I always, I always cheer. I'm a huge, like I said, huge fan of the game. I love watching uh, people play and, and, and seeing what people can do. And I would have definitely been cheering hard for, for a deck like this to go very deep into the Worlds. Uh, I like, I like that kind of stuff. Anyway, so I'm going to set the, I'm going to set the Sangan and just pass because, I mean, we really don't have a lot other, a lot of other options. Hopefully I can survive, but opponent gets the hate to see it as well. Man, that sucks. It was a six card too. All right. Oh my goodness. So off the draw, if it would have just been anything else, he can get that Thunder Dragon off and, and be fine. But again, he gets the, he gets the Trogdor curse himself and um, dub doubles up on the Thunder Dragons. Hate to see it. That's what you get when you play them. That's going to happen. If you play three Thunder Dragons long enough, you're going to get them two, two in your first hand. So he goes and discards it. And at that point, I'm like, he's got the double Thunder Dragon. And I'm feeling better because last time that was just super strong opening they had. Um, opponent goes and sets the Royal Decree and the Axe of Despair and the Premature Burial and just go ahead and rips the Morphing Jar. And that's pretty sick. Uh, so I draw the Trap Dust Shoot. And I'm feeling that this is either, I'm thinking it's Mystic Tomato or it's some type of, uh, um, sand or whatever, whatever. I'm thinking it's Mystic Tomato. That's what I thought it was. So I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, summon's good. And I know just based on, based on how, the, how these decks work, I know they can't play too much defense. Um, and I just figure I, I gotta get as aggressive as I can. I gotta try to. I gotta try to beat them before they beat me. And maybe this is not the right move, but it's just what I, what I want to do. So I go ahead and share the pain, the Sangan right there, get that Sangan effect, and then I can uh, get rid of this. And it happened to be Morphin Jar, which was so, so good for me. And they didn't have goats. That could have been terrible, but it is what it is. I get the Sinner Servant. And then I go ahead and hit in for 300. I know they got Thunder Dragons, but why not? Just go and get him out of his hand. Maybe that's less he can do later on. And I set the uh, trap dash shoot. Opponent draws into the Benkai. Dude, that would've been so nasty. If this was Axe of Despair, Mage Power, United We Stand, and then he just like wins right here. But fortunately for me, it wasn't. Um, some good. Go ahead, Axe of Despair. Got the thumb, thumbs up rocking. I found out about the thumbs up button. You know, that was new. I actually got the thumbs up going. Let them know, hey, I'm good. Uh, hits me for 12. Hits me for another 12. Ends. Okay. So I get the breaker, Magical War. I'm, again, I'm getting a lot of orange, man. I hate to see it as well. Give me some, give me something. Okay. So I get the breaker. Get out of here. I get the breaker, slap it down, and Benkai is only at 15, so I can break the Axe of Despair. Probably won't do much for me, so I decide to go ahead and just break one of the random sets they have. And if it's Book of Moon, it's Book of Moon. Um, but it ends up being Royal Decree, which is fine. Switch the uh, Spear Reaper to defense, and I go ahead and hit the Benkai. So Breaker just came out there and got a whole plus. What's that? That's a one, two. That's a whole plus three situation. I'd love to see that. Shout out to Breaker on that one. He really. Really did some work. Uh, opponent draws into the dopest BLS probably ever, I think. Um, go ahead, one light, one dark. Slaps him down and just swings. I love the aggression because they know that I'm on Royal Decree, so I can't be on too many traps. He's seen, like I said, he's got a lot of uh, information based on the games that I, that he's already seen. So he knows I don't, I don't have a lot of defensive traps, so he just feels comfortable to just go ahead and swing in. I draw into the tribe infecting virus and I haven't been checking my graveyard. So I've been constantly making it, but my chaos is live and I knew that. Um, but instead of going chaos, I think I go tribe here and just bring out, um, and just get, and just declare warriors and get off the BLS. 
Hit him for 16. Looking back on it, I probably should have uh, brought down a sort too and just got more damage in. Again, you just want to try to get this game over with quick, especially since they got two two cards. But I don't want to I don't want to blow blow it too fast and then I need some follow up just in case they have something else in the in the pipes. Opponent draws to Mataza the Zapper. Go ahead and sets it and passes. I get the pot of greet, which is dope. Love to see it. Love to see it. Get back my sinister serpent. I want to slap down the pot of greed. Going for get the metamorphosis, get the Sukiyomi. And I just attack. Hmm. Was that the best thing to do? Um I probably should have brought out the Sukiyomi, flipped the tribe down, back up, and then attack just to get more more damage. But I'm thinking, hey, if this is Cyber Jar, you know, it is what it is. I don't wanna I don't wanna blow my summon just yet. Uh, ends up being um, Mataza the Zapper, which is fine. And then I set the Magician of Faith, which is cool because unless they got Nobleman, which Nobleman is fine because that's just one one more card that you know that I'm getting rid of for one one for one at this point. And I got I got a pretty sick amount of cards in my hand, so I'm I'm not I'm not feeling too bad about it. Pony goes ahead and premature burials. The black lusted one, okay. Black lusted soldiers back on me. Um, Pony goes ahead and attacks into the tribe again. They know I don't have a lot of a lot of stuff going on. And then they go meta. That was so sick. So yeah, they didn't they didn't attack twice because that could be anything. Definitely magician phase. So that was an awesome read that they made. And uh, they're going to go meta here, main phase two, to bring out um, the Gatling Dragon, which is so sick. That was I really I, I said it. I like it. so I really like that play. I like that play a lot. I like how they did it because um, it could have been. I mean, I have a lot going on. I don't know. I really I really enjoyed the way they did that. That was a good play. What do you guys think? All right, so they go ahead and declare effect. Heads. Tails. What do you think this is gonna be? Obviously it's gonna be heads. So they just bring this dude out, flips the optimal flip, and just blows my whole situation up. Gotta love it. He's tight. I'm tight. I'm tight. But again, I, I like I I'm a I'm a fan first and then I'm a player second. So whenever I see good plays or just dope things that happen, I'm just, I, I like it. So I was like, man, that's just the perfect way for that to, for that to roll out. So I draw, <clears throat> excuse me. I get a, I get metamorphosis again. And I'm thinking to myself, um, I have 28 left. Um, hmm. I got, he's got 52. What can I do? I go next play, I bring out, so I was thinking like, I actually took quite a bit of time on this play, just like thinking because I have the Sinister Serpent and I'm like, I can go Sinister Serpent, put him down, go Thousand Eyes, Thousand Eyes this, attack for 26, um, and then I'm like kind of exposed, you know, cause that's, that's my summon and then they get snatched and then they just, you know, basically they just kinda, they kinda got me jammed up pretty tough. Um, so I want to, I, I, I'm, I'm really thinking about the odds of what I can do. And like, maybe they got iron blacksmith Kotetsu in here. I, they get snatch and then just, you know, it's, it's not a good, I didn't want, I didn't want snatch to happen. Even though I do have this Sork and it's, it's online. I don't know. So I thought about this for a little bit, uh, probably more than I should. And I'm just like really going back and forth on like what I should do, what I should do. So I just said to hell with it. I go ahead and bring out the, uh, bring out the Sork, declare effect on the Gatling All Dragon. Right meta here for the Ryu Senshi. So that way, um, if they had one card in their hand, I knew it was Thunder Dragon. Um, I just want to get rid of, so no Snatch, no Book of Moon, no, um, you know, none of that. So I can just kind of take all those uh, out of the equation anyway. Unless I got Sork, Sork would be just the worst. But still, I'd rather, and then I could just, I could just freaking Thousand Eyes the Sork later on. Um, and then I set the uh, Tsukiyomi just in case to defend my life points, just in case something happens. Uh, opponent gets the Magician of Faith. Sets the Magician of Faith, passes. So I'm like, okay, I'm not feeling too bad about it. They didn't get the, they didn't get the Sork. They didn't get 
you know, anything that can kind of help. Um, I go ahead and sack up the Sukuna, right. and then I go and Metamorphosis here for Dark Balter, just to kind of keep the keep the aggression going, and um, I can kind of negate a, a normal spell. I can negate one spell and one trap, um, and I can negate this, you know, this effect. I thought this was maybe this was uh, Mystic Tomato. Didn't want to deal with that either. So ends up being Mission Fade, which is great, and I get in for two thousand. Opponent draws active spell. We're going to get three. Nice. All right. So I was able to I was able to put that one together again. Opponent drew great game one. Didn't draw so hot game two. Kind of bricked pretty hard. Um, but I, I I I was able to kind of weather that storm, get a little get a little fortunate, and pull it off. But going to game three, uh, I felt I felt pretty good about the plan. Um, they they noticed that I made some changes, so I'm side decking again, trying to maybe I can kind of find maybe the trap that shoots can go out because they really didn't do a lot for me last game. So I'll probably put in. Maybe Des Womp, just somebody who can who can do something. I can't. I I, I need uh I need some help in that regard. Uh, chatting up a little bit. All right, we're going into game three. Final round. Fight. So opponent gets to go first. Um, I get the Spear Reaper, Misty Tomato, Thunder Dragon, Sure Priest, Mystical Space Typhoon. Opponent gets the Aggressive Charity, uh, Benkai, Mystic Tomato, Ring of Destruction, Big Bang Shot. Draws into the scapegoats. Opponent throws down the scapegoats, throws down the ring, throws down the Mr. Tomato, and says go. Okay, yeah, I also have the, I brought the Assure Priest in as well, which is dope for me. So I draw into these Umbire of the Dark. I brought that guy in just because I, I just needed somebody. I needed, I needed more bodies, I think, um, that can actually just defend me and, and, kill, and kill stuff. So I brought him in. Um, go ahead and get Thunder Dragon again. Three games in a row. Didn't double up. Love to see it. Uh, I'm not going to rip this mystical space iPhone. I do it because I want. I was. I was trying to bait out. Um, I was trying to bait out scapegoats so I can just machine gun all of them with this uh, sure priest, and then you know, it it is what it is. But lucky for me, I end up getting this ring destruction, which is even better. I can tell they uh, brought that in because they know what I took my uh, decrees out. So. It dope. Worked, it worked out. Because um, I'm able to kill the Mystic Tomato. It brings out the Sangin, and I'm thinking, I'm like, okay. <sighs> if I kill this, if I kill this freaking Sangin, it can get Benkai out, and then my board, I have no, I have no way to defend my, defend my health, and then my board is completely open, and it could just absolutely kill me next turn. That's what I was thinking. So I was like, you know what, Sangin, you can, uh, you can live. You can live live for today all right yeah so I, i'm i'm like if, if i kill this dude he brings out benkai i'm playing scared you know again from fear which you know you shouldn't you shouldn't do but i'm just thinking pragmatic pragmatically and i'm like if i kill this Sangin, he gets benkai he slaps on all these equip cards and i can literally just lose right now so i'm like okay i'll chill i won't attack maybe it's right maybe it's wrong i don't know um Opponent draws into Acts of Despair. One slaps down the Grace of Charity, gets BLS, Royal Decree, Giant Trinade. Throws out Giant Trinade, throws out BLS, which is dope. Um, brings out Benkai anyway that they already have. And I'm like, son of a bitch. Oh my like, damn. So what is um, If this had been United We Stand, Mage Power, again, I'm dead. Oh man, I'm so lucky. Um, hits me three times for 19, which is just absurd, and for a thousand. So I'm already at 13 after turn one. Hate to see it. So I'm praying for Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm, no Suki on me again. I got no green. I am monstered out. All this orange. No one likes to see it again. I'm holding it. Um. I'm thinking to myself, he's only at 19. Um, I I got this Zambira. I can probably bring it out, but if he books it, I'm absolutely dead. Anything he's got. So if he has book, one Book of Moon, I'm dead, or any kind of Sakuretsu armor or something, it's pretty much over for me. Um, but it is what it is. Oh, so actually, uh, I, I thought about this for a little bit. I, I didn't realize I did. I thought I brought out Zambira, but I didn't. I actually bring out uh, Tsukiyomi 
because I figure I can set it and then hopefully they just, you know, don't have it and I can kill it and then I'll just have to roll the dice. Um, so I set it, kill it, and this is going to return to my hand. But I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, hey, these decks play like a low monster count. Um, I can get lucky. Every dog has his day. I've been getting pretty lucky so far. Maybe I can, my luck can continue, except for these draws I'm, I got going on here. We'll see. So I end my turn and just say, do with me what you will. Uh, I got too many cards in my hand. I will go ahead and discard a Thunder Dragon. Opponent draws probably the dumbest Royal Decree you can get, like ever, because I have, you know, like no traps in my deck and such a such a dumb draw. Um, hate to see it. And I thought it was sacking up the saying, and I'm like, wow, man, I just lost. That sucks. Mobius, I'm dead. But no, uh, opponent just go ahead and goes to battle, hits me for a thousand. I'm like, cool, that's fine. So as much as it sucks, I, I draw Black Luster Soldier. Love to see it. Did I check my graveyard? I don't think I did. Maybe I did, I don't know. Check the tape. I go ahead and set the Mystic Tomato like a absolute scrub, because this could be Nobleman. Like both of these could be Noblemans. That could be Nobleman. I don't know why I just didn't summon it. I don't know, what am I doing? Well, I guess if I do summon it, then he brings out um, Mataza the Zapper and equips Axe of Despair to it, and I just lose right there too, so. I'm in a very bad spot. I have 300 life points left. I am not feeling very good about anything. Um, so opponent attacks into the Mythic Tomato. Did some damage. I get the Metamorphosis, and I'm like, man, if I could just get a freaking Spirit Reaper, I, when I was Spirit Reaper, send a server, I can bring out Thousand Eyes and slow this thing down. But I set Spirit Reaper like an idiot. What am I doing? Hmm. I don't like that. I don't like that play at all. That's a real bad one. Um, again, I, I don't. I don't want. I don't want this Sangin going to the graveyard. I think I'm just trying to get a dark into the graveyard so I can bring out Black Lesser Soldier. But why? I, I should have just kept it in my hand or just meted this. Kept it in my hand. Either kept this in my hand and just discarded it to the grave for uh, game mechanics, or just, uh, or just. Meta, I don't know. That was, that was stupid. Because now he gets um, Big Bang Shot and I just lose as well. So dumb. Okay. Whatever, dude. Moving on. Opponent draws meta of their own. So they're not drawing too great right now. Going battles into the Spirit Reaper. Um, I draw to Book of Moon, which is pretty sick. That kind of gives me a little, a little safety net, I think. I'm going to sack up the Spirit Reaper. One light, one dark. I bring out the DLS, go to attack, and I'm like, I'm behind. I need to just swing. So I swing for uh, 2,000. I swing again, and I'm just like, I gotta, I gotta just go, cause I got this book of moon. If anything happens, I can just chain it and just kind of survive. Um, but I'm not. I'm just going. For, I'm just going for it. Opponent plays scapegoats. Scapegoats comes out. Kill three. And then I go ahead and meta. What am I doing, bro? Chill. I go ahead and meta into Dark Balter in main phase two. I don't know. I guess I forgot that I had. I, I mean, it happened so fast. I guess I forgot I only have 300 life points left. So maybe that's what my my plan was. I forgot. Yeah, I don't have any 300 life points to do that. That was dumb. Shouldn't have did that. Whatever. We live and we learn. Man, that was a bonehead move. Whatever. Uh, opponent gets the Benkai, but doesn't have any any arms to go with it. So I'm fine with that. Uh, opponent sets the Sinister Serpent and go ahead and metas. Let me stop right there, because that's another good thing that I've noticed that a lot of uh, a lot of good players do. Is if you got the meta and you got the Sinister Serpent, sometimes it's better to just set the Sinister Serpent, waste your uh, normal summon, and then just meta there to bring out to bring out the Thousand Eyes um, that way instead of just playing the meta on the token and then get rid of the token because if something happens to the thousand eyes or that now you just wasted your token which could have been still on the field some some type of defense instead of your serpent which you can just recur later on next turn just something to think about i don't know because he could have he could have just played the meta sacked the token kept his normal summon and then brought out you know send a serpent and that thing gets crushed by this dude and then he'll, he'll never come back 
or you know so at least now he'll just get it back next turn that's what that's some something, something to think about brings out a thousand eyes and then book of moon saves me again you know that's two for book of moon i gotta keep i gotta keep a man i like book of moon i was thinking about like man i don't know how to use book of moon so maybe i should just stop using it but two times that's two times book of moon mvp of this of this, of this match yeah. Uh, opponent go ahead and sets uh, the scapegoat, sets the uh, Royal Decree, passes. I'm going to throw out the littest Ashura Priest out here, just ready to. Love it. Love to see it. Ashura Priest comes down, uh, swings into the Thousand Eyes, swings into the Goat, and I declare with Dark Balter. Um, but. You know, I got the Shura Priest. The Shura Priest says that it can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. So when they play the scapegoats, a lot of a lot of newer players, they might have just been like, hey, well, Shura Priest already stopped attacking, so I got to go with somebody else. No, a Shura Priest can attack, stop, come back, attack. It doesn't have to be in succession. So when my opponent played these, uh, played these scapegoats, I can say, okay, new monsters, new targets. I can now go back to a Shura Priest, redeclare, attack all those goats, and then attack the wreck. So if you didn't know, that's something that you may not have known. You definitely can do that, and it's a point of contention as well uh, when you're playing on the ladder. Sure, Priest can attack all monsters on the field your opponent controls. Um, but I think I don't, I don't know. Somebody might help me out. If you attack direct and do and do damage, I don't think you can come back again and attack the monsters. Maybe I think you should be able to. I don't know. I have to check the rules. But in this in this situation, you definitely can attack all the goats. They bring out more goats. You can attack all those goats as well. No big. So somehow, you some way, win. So through the luck of the game, just the luckiest guy in, the, in town, definitely should have lost this game too. Um, I had to play it fast. I had to play it loose. The opponent didn't draw so well. Uh, game two and three, game one, it was just a an obliteration. Um, but that's that's the way it goes, you know? So I'm cruising along. I'm still going strong. It's absolutely well past my bedtime. I should have been asleep hours ago and i'm still up you know going through this thing tell me what you guys think what you guys think about this deck i actually reached out to uh to wing zero because i really like this deck a lot and i asked if i can have a copy of it because i wanted to try it out myself i did i had a blast playing this deck it's really fun um and if you want to play this deck too that they were using i'm sure he doesn't mind if i put it down so this this deck that he's using will be in the description of this video and um the deck that I'm using as well is going to be down there, and um, yeah. So if you want to try it, it's, it's a it's a it's a hoot. It's fun. It's super explosive. Um, you really catch people off guard because they just think you're doing some chaos normal stuff or some recruiter stuff and some control stuff, and then boom, you just hit them with you know twenty eight thousand. You're just like, dang, you know, didn't see that coming. They always say, I didn't see that coming. It's really it's really fun. So again, shout out to my opponent X twenty three S. It was a lot of fun playing this game. Um, and uh, hopefully we can play again soon, sometime. And good luck to you and the rest of your endeavors in this season. Um, thank you again to everyone who decides to come out and watch my videos. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. It makes it all worthwhile because um, it really takes a lot to make these videos. I'm not. I'm not. I'm learning. I'm getting. I'm getting the the system down. I'm getting better at it. Um, but shout out to everyone who, who who's, who's who's digging the vibes and they're rolling with me and 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 coming out. I'm gonna keep doing it for you and for myself um and yeah and if you ever want to want to throw some throw some cards around let me know and i'm always down to play so oh it's really big big event tournament that's taking place is going to be another it's going to be another patreon world qualifying tournament um happening the day after christmas so that's december 26th uh, patreon world's qualifier um it's probably gonna be a huge huge turnout so if you got time and you want to play yeah, no offense. There could be super, super, super duper good go format players out there somewhere playing wherever. But if you're not in these tournaments and you're not out here doing it, you know, where everyone can see, then it doesn't it doesn't count as much, at least in my opinion. So if you want to be on this competitive scene, it's really easy to do. It's a lot of fun. You should definitely, definitely do it and tell everyone else they should do it, too, because we want to get this thing to be as big as possible. I would love to see. You know, a world's a world's qual a world's tournament or a go format championship tournament with, you know, 400 people, 500 people. I would love to see that because that's where that's where I think that this can go. That's where I think it should go. Um, you know, just just if you have time, 
again i'm ranting i didn't rant a lot this video so i'm gonna take this time to rant now if you don't want to see the rant just go and shut it off but if you go back and watch like those first uh those first evo street fighter competitions or those first melee there's like a room a tv two guys and like five people watching it you know it's not it's not a big thing it, now if you watch it now they've got literal auditoriums and stadiums you know wall to wall just packed with people in in real life watching you know people play street fighter or tekken or something like that this can go there i think in my in my mind you know so maybe i'm crazy maybe i'm delusional maybe i'm you know out of out of my out of my mind or whatever but this this go format thing i think can go there because there's a huge there's a huge you know passion for it there's a lot of people who really enjoy it i know i really enjoy it and i think more people enjoy it if they just knew about it so i think it's up to all of us to spread the word and get people into this thing and if they don't like it and they, they hate it try to you know try to ask them why they they can't if some people can't you can't save everybody but just uh just you know don't be don't be rude about it and fight too much but i really i really uh i really enjoy the game and uh if you do too come with your boy but i had a great time making this video it was a very difficult video to make as they all are um so if you have anything else or any kind of any kind of stuff feel free you know drop by and say what's up you know hop in the comments share the video like the video help help your boy out let's blow it let's make it let's make it pop or or whatever but seriously until then till the next Shout out to the OGs. Salute to the real ones. Peace. This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Peace. We're jumping in to the replay. Edit. That's why it takes me so long to make these damn videos because all these fucking edits, but edit that, of course. All right, we're going to jump right on into this replay. Do, 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 do. You feel me?